Hello, third graders, and welcome to our introductory video on the unit of inquiry. This is Ms. Dina Arifat, and in this video, I will be explaining to you what the unit of inquiry is, what the subject of focus is, the content we will be covering, the attributes you will be gaining as learners, and the outcome you will have in the end of the unit. So, to begin with, what is unit of inquiry? Unit of inquiry is science and social studies combined together as one subject that we refer to as the unit of inquiry. Now you might wonder, why are we combining these two subjects together? Now, in science and social studies, we focus on matters or issues that relate to the whole world. We don't focus on a specific culture, um, country, or person. No, we focus on issues and matters related to the world as a whole. In inquiry, or the unit of inquiry, we shift from studying to doing. Inquiry learning provides the opportunity for you as learners to put on the lenses of a historian, geographer, economist, scientist, in order to gain knowledge and deepen your understanding of the past and the world today. So in the unit of inquiry, you will be doing a lot of explorations, research, investigations that start with a question that you explore as learners. Then you gather evidence on your own from different sources to help you answer these questions. So the unit of inquiry is a very engaging unit where you will be working on projects and you will work collaboratively in order to reach the outcome or the goal you have. What is the content in the unit of inquiry? In the unit of inquiry, we have six main transdisciplinary themes or units. We will be discussing and inquiring into issues or matters that go under these main transdisciplinary themes. First, we have the unit who we are. In the unit who we are, we focus on role models, identities, and human relationships. The second transdisciplinary theme or unit is where we are in place and time that talks about historians and explorers. In the third unit, which we call how we organize ourselves, we will discuss organizations that aim to help people, nature, and organisms. In the fourth transdisciplinary theme or unit, how we express ourselves, we focus on poetry. You will learn how to write poems and how to analyze poetry. Moving on to the fifth unit, sharing the planet. In this unit, we will be inquiring into animal and plant adaptations and how they are able to survive environmental and man-made changes. Our last unit is called how the world works. In this unit, we will be focusing on horses and motion. Now, what are the attributes you will gain as learners throughout the unit of inquiry? First, you will be knowledgeable about how the world works. Second attribute you will gain throughout the unit of inquiry is risk taker. You will be a risk taker who isn't afraid to gain and share your voice and choice. The third attribute you will gain is caring. You will become more caring towards the needs and feelings of others. You will become communicators through expressing your own ideas without fear. You will become more open-minded by understanding and appreciating cultures and personal histories. You will also be balanced by understanding the importance of intellectual, physical, and emotional health. You will develop critical and creative thinking skills to recognize and appreciate complex problems. You will also be principled by acting with integrity and honesty. You will also be reflective by giving thoughtful consideration to your own learning and experiences. And lastly, you will become inquirers who nurture curiosity. What is the outcome we will have in the end of the unit? You will be taking action at the end of each unit. 
This action will reflect on your own understanding and experience of the unit. You will be able to grow both personally and socially, developing skills such as cooperation, problem solving, conflict resolution, and creative as well as critical thinking skills. I wish you a wonderful year ahead in the unit of inquiry.